All right. Uh, welcome to part D. A uh, five kilogram object resting on the plane. Uh, what force in what direction would make the box slide down the plane with an acceleration of only 0 0.80 meters per second squared? Now, if you recall, we've already solved it sliding down the plane. It wants to slide down the plane with an acceleration of about 1.2 meters per second squared. So I'm going to predict that this force would be up the plane. It would actually have to be an impediment to it to make it not accelerate quite as fast. Okay. Now, this is um, down here. This is our force parallel. Okay. That's mg sine theta. This is our force perpendicular, the thing we use to calculate the friction forces. Okay. And it is mg cos theta. Right. And then this is our 0.35 times the force perpendicular. This is 0.52 times the force perpendicular because there are no other forces acting perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so this is a real typical inclined plane problem. Um, this guy's not going to be a player because it's sliding, right? So no static friction here. Okay, um, this guy's not going to really be a player because it's already been used to calculate this. So our players are friction, the parallel force, and then some unknown force. There'll be three players here. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's sliding down the plane, right? If it's sliding down the plane, the friction force will be up the plane. So positive 15.430 newtons acting up the plane. Okay, the parallel force is always down the plane. It's very predictable. Okay, so negative 21.502 newtons, always down the plane. That's our force parallel, right? This is our friction force. Okay. And then the, there's some unknown force here, so we'll just uh, draw it in somewhere here. We're just gonna go. I'll go force, mystery force, right? And our forces are negative 21.502, the parallel force, uh, uh, plus 15.430, the friction force. Since it's sliding down the plane, the friction force would actually be up the plane, right? And then there's some uh, unknown force, right? So plus F equals 5.0 kilograms, okay? And then this acceleration, it's down the plane. Let's assume that the acceleration is also down the plane. So the acceleration is negative 0 0.80 meters per second squared, okay? So yeah, there we go, right? The acceleration is down the plane. Parallel force is down the plane. It always is, right? In this case, since we're sliding down the plane, friction is up the plane. Unknown forces are always positive. I don't know. This is like the election. I don't know which way this thing's going to go. Okay, so I'm just going to bust it out. Um, five times negative 0.8, right, plus 21.502 minus 15.430, 2.072, okay. Right, and I know we're good to like uh, three sig figs, right? So 2.07 newtons, that's going to be about 2.1 newtons. The fact that it's positive doesn't mean it could be any direction. It means that specifically it's up the plane. Specifically speaking, it's up the plane. It's not like it could be up or down. It definitely is up the plane.